Instagram. So I actually gotta, wait, where's my phone? <laughs> So I've already like left the house and like done things, but I'm actually going to dinner tonight with um, some family and some friends and I'm really excited. So I thought I'd do um, a get ready with me. Uh, I've never actually done one. I did one, I did a video where I like did like my, my makeup and stuff, which is literally what I'm gonna do now. But honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Um, spending five weeks with Austin was on one hand wonderful. On the other hand, I got used to talking while I was doing my makeup. Because he'd sit right here. He'd sit right here and chill out and just like look at his phone and like talk while we we're doing my makeup. So I thought, and if I'm just by myself, I'll just like listen to music or something like that. Or actually, I actually talked to him on Skype once while I was doing it. So I just thought, why not? Like, I'm literally using nothing different than what I used in the last video where I did my makeup. Like, I'm not that adventurous. <laughs> I'm really not gonna point out too much stuff about that. I would just thought I'd sit and talk because I feel like I also need to do a little bit of catching up. When do I not catch up on this channel, I swear. But I wanted to get something up for today and I need to finish watching Psycho for class. Spoiler alert, the shower scene is really not that scary. And I need to do some work stuff and I have to go to the phone store. A bunch of other little things before I go tonight. So I thought I'd just go ahead and get ready now. So I'm all good to go. And I'm gonna shut up and start doing my makeup <laughs> okay so where do we start off using my elf porcelain foundation which was really funny because I spent literally two days in Arizona and it was too pale for me <laughs> but I'm back in the good old Midwest and it, it works again okay so where do I start January was rough. <laughs> I went into January with the feeling of oh this is going to be a great year and I still seriously like think that it just kind of started out rough basically um right after the first of the year my dad went into the hospital and he was in the hospital for oh god i don't know several several weeks like not all at once but spanned out over the month and into february he was in the hospital as of right now everything's good he's doing okay right now i mean he's still in pain he's still having issues with stuff but he he's stable enough at the moment. He did end up having a surgery of sorts, which actually happened the uh, the morning after I got food poisoning. <laughs> that was fun. So basically, we were dealing with that. My mom and I were just like at the hospital. Eventually, Austin got in town, and that was really nice having him here for all of that. Uh, now I got on my lips. By the way, I'm looking at my mirror down here. I cannot do this with the viewfinder, so I'm gonna be this way i'm sorry so that all was happening and then yeah i got food poisoning which i'm pretty sure came from <laughs> a, a brownie from the hospital actually it was kind of funny hospital food i think gave me food poisoning great irony there am i in focus i can't tell i'm sorry my contacts are being wonky right now so if this is just a hot mess i apologize but then after that dad was home from the hospital i was clear his surgery went very very well uh it was my 21st birthday <laughs> My first legal a drink. Uh, we went to a steakhouse for dinner with my grandma and my aunt, and my mom and dad and Austin and myself. And my drink was was called a Pardon My French, and it was literally just fruit juice and hardcore vodka, and it was. <laughs> okay, I need this close so I can't see. Okay, good enough. Eh. I'm 21. It's happened. It's here. It's official. <laughs> it's so... Ow. I just hit my tooth. It's so weird to think of myself as being 21 because it's one of those ages I feel like whenever you're a kid where you're like, oh, whenever I'm 21, I can drink and I'll be a, a grown-up and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> you sweet summer child. This is always the best part to me because I just feel like I'm doing like war paint. It's great. So I turned 21. Then I had a expo that I went to. Uh, for my company. It's actually a wedding expo and I actually got some legit paying jobs from it and I'm thrilled. I met with my first client last weekend and I'm meeting with two this week. So, so cool. <laughs> um, so next I'm doing this, which is still the same exact. Oh, can I do like the beauty guru like focus thing? I'm using uh, NYX finishing powder and I need to get some more as you can tell and check out my badly painted nails. The wedding expo was intense and it was rough because <laughs> I don't like talking to strangers. I really don't like putting myself out there in terms of like speaking to people. Um, <laughs> just out of the blue like that. But I think I did okay. Hopefully, um, shout out to my parents and Austin and my cousin that brought my grandma to see the show, to see my booth and stuff like that. Shout out to all of them for helping make the day what it was and for 
also to help keep my nerves on for my mom for talking to people and it just ugh. it went really really well though and i'm actually looking at doing a couple more this year uh to get some more business so cross your fingers for me please <laughs> Oh, I got the thing. It was a Twitter. By the way, happy International Women's Day. Hell yeah. Ah, what'd I just do? Okay. <sighs> now we do the eyebrows. We use this color here that is beginning to go, <laughs> beginning to dwindle because I use it so much. <laughs> After all that, um, we ended up actually extending our stay here in Missouri. It was supposed to be two weeks here, two weeks there. Uh, so we actually got to do most everything that we wanted to do like for that time of year. Jesus Christ, that looks dark in the camera. I promise it does not look like that in real life. <laughs> eh! I think I might have ketchup in my hair. <laughs> Don't talk about it, it didn't happen. Once we got to Arizona, we got to do a bunch of really fun stuff and it was so, so nice. Just actually just spending time together. <laughs> my favorite part of all of that, honestly, is we literally just got to be together, you know, like in the same place, not 1400 some odd miles apart. I'm sorry, I'm cleaning makeup off the back of my hand. <laughs> we will be back in town this month, so as of right now, we are 453 hours away from that happening, which I'm thrilled about. We'll be celebrating one year, which is insane. It's really funny, because yesterday was the one year anniversary of when we all got stranded at the ranch, and I made the little video about it. A year ago is when I feel like I actually really made friends. Like, we all bonded whenever that happened, so it's so cool that I'm really glad that I actually did film that and put that together, because it's just like, it was such a special day, because we all figured out how we can really joke, and like, all of our sense of humor is really meshed <laughs> and, and melted really well that day. Finally, I'm to uh, mascara, and I use these two. I literally think that none of this is different than that one video where I did my makeup, and I apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna scoot closer so I can actually see what I'm doing. So as of right now, I am still working on growing my business. I'm looking to get into more expos. I am working on school. It's almost spring break. Next week is actually spring break, which is pretty sweet. I'm only doing two online classes, but both involve watching a film a week and like several different assignments. So it's slightly intense. Oh, my poor eyelashes. But yeah, all that's kind of why January is kind of rough month all in all, but February is much better, and so far March has been pretty solid, so I'm really happy about that. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good update, honestly. I'm gonna finish my eyelashes real quick. Now the most fun part of all of this. Ah! Did my mascara run? No, cool. All right, this is about as good as my face is gonna get at the moment. And I think I pretty much covered everything. I'm really proud of Vedum so far. I've uploaded every day this week, which is kind of exciting. Thank you very much for watching and uh, happy Vedum. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> goodbye. I hit the wrong button. Um, goodbye.